Hello everybody and welcome on the Ground of Glasgow with your favourite. I'm a home Pokotuber of this channel and I want to welcome you to another episode of the Pokemon Show now live. Uh, in this episode we're actually going to be able to take on the OU tier again. Um, this was a team I got from a friend uh, which is called Flips. Would you remember Flips slash Lewis which we did also show on lives with in the past. Um, he passed me this team with Mega Medicham. Um, Protean Greninja right here uh, with Life Orb, of course. We do have a fast uh, defensive Heatran. Uh, we have an defensive Tangrowth right here, which HPIs knock off an Earthquake. We have a Magnet holding Tapu Koko. And then we have a Choice Scarf Keldeo right here with Hydro Pump, Secret Sword, Icy Wind, and Stone Edge. Uh, we are going to be able to take on the ladder today. Um, today I want to take the OU one more time. After this, I want to do another tier. So if you want to show your support and uh, maybe have a tier you want me to see play, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And as we see, this person has a Greninja, I assume it's Battle Bond, Landorus, Mega Charizard X it looks like, uh, Tyranitar, Magirna and Cryogonal. I don't know why Cryogonal is there though, but anyway. Um, I don't see anything wrong with... Um, opening up Taku, Tapu Koko actually uh, because if we open up Taku, Tapu Koko we actually are able to outspeed everything uh, since he does have a Landorus I think it's safe to assume that we can go for the U-turn right here we would do more with the um, yeah alright so I wanna assume that he is probably gonna go for a, for a Flash Cannon or something or Flur Cannon something along those lines so I go to Heatran straight up Flur Cannon comes through and he goes for that um, I do want to take this opportunity right here to set up my Stealth Rocks right here. So we can weaken the Charizard, uh, break a potential Sash. As the Renatar is going to come through and set up the Sand for us. Um, I do want to make a swap towards Tangrowth right here because we don't. I don't think Tyranitar can actually hit us for, for that much damage. We are going to take some Sand damage right here, but I don't see really the reason why we should fear that. So I'm actually going to click knock off, actually it's the fire blast version as well. So we're going to knock off his expert belt right here, so we should be able to live another hit. Um, I saw stone edge on this set, I saw fire blast, so I want to predict the, well he's probably going to go for stone edge again, but I think he trying to scoop swap right here. Yeah stone edge you indeed went for, and he probably is going to do that again. Um, I don't quite know what he can do to me because he showed Stone Edge Fire Blast, so I'm thinking he probably has something along uh, Pursuit Crunch, maybe Earthquake. Well, I'm not particularly sure, but I'm gonna go to Tangrowth right now on the Stone Edge and make another double then into Heatran so we get a little bit more Regenerator back. <coughs> I think that would be a good call as Ice Beam is gonna come through and it's not gonna do much. Uh, I think this can be the opportunity for us to Lava Plume and potentially burn him. As we do get a burn, we do get a crit burn, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, um, looking at this, as he cannot hit us for good damage, I think he's going to swap, probably in a month like uh, Charizard or Landorus. So I actually want a Toxic right here, as he goes to Landorus. Um, I don't know what he would do if he would go for Rocks or straight up Earthquake. Um, I don't think it's terrible to go Tangrowth right here. Tangrowth can eat indeed an Earthquake and he probably is if he is Scarfed he probably will swap again. So I actually want to make a double predicting him to go for the uh, Stealth Box again. So I want to go into Heatran. As we see that he is not Scarfed correct. Uh, so we know we can outspeed that later as Greninja comes through. I don't think Greninja can do anything else in, to us in particular. Unless this is Z Happy Hour, which is pretty scary actually. Uh, I don't feel like I want to take an Ice Beam or a Hydro Vortex. But I think he trended his purpose right here. So I actually want a Toxic. As he goes through the Hydro Pump and is going to be able to take us out right here. And he is Battle Bond. Um, we are able to outspeed that with Keldeo, of course. I don't see really particularly swaps into my uh, Secret Sword due to us being Scarfed. As he is going to Tyranitar and is going to be able to sack it right here with the Sand included. 
Uh, probably now let's go towards Landorus or Charizard. As he goes Magirna right here. So actually we lost our swap to Magirna, which was a bad play on my part. And I think we need to keep Keldeo around so that uh, our Battle Bond Puninja doesn't run a field day towards us. Uh, Floor Cannon or Thunderbolt is very obvious, but I think Tangrowth can come in. Uh, a minus two Floor Cannon though. I want to preserve him and go to Tapu Koko right now. As Floor Cannon is going to do 60% nonetheless. Uh, knowing that he probably is not Scar that he isn't Scarf Landorus, I can actually go for this and then proceed with HP Ice. So we review right here that we are not Scarf or Specs. We are able to outspeed and are going to be able to pick up this Landorus right here. Sandstorm is subsiding though, as as Greninja comes through, and I don't want him to get another kill though. He did show Hydro Pump before, so I think he wants to do that again. And not gonna lie, now that, um, what's his name, that Landorus is gone, I think Kelly has a field day, so Tangrowth can come in. Take a U-turn to the face, and he now goes Cryogonal and probably wants to get rid of his hazards right here. So, seeing that it's probably gonna spin, I go Keldeo. Because I really want to keep the, keep Tangrowth around right now. As Rapid Spin is obvious. Uh, as it is anyway, but I actually want to click the Secret Sword or the Icy Winds. I think he has Freeze Dry, so we shouldn't risk that, and we are going to be able to pick up the Cryogonal right here. Uh, I think that also Mega Medicham can do a ton of work right here, and I think this is Zard Mega X. Mm, we are able to be a ground type at this rate. We are able to outspeed him next turn. Coco outspeeds his entire team at Thunderbolt with Field Day. I think Greninja is expendable right here. As Charles Omega X, he is indeed. Alright, seeing that he has Charles Omega X, I think that we can have a Field Day towards Thunderbolt, even though it's resisted. Um, we did boost our... Um, we did boost our, our opponent's Thunder Punch right here. But I don't see a point in why we should not risk that. Um, Magirna is currently at how much? 91%, so we need a little bit of damage on that. He is going to be able to pick us up with another Thunder Punch. And... I want to say we outspeed him. So I actually want to Mega Evolve and click Fake Out. He's probably going to swap now towards Magirna. Uh, we are able to pick up his entire team right now with Scarf Keldeo right now, so it doesn't really matter what we do. But I think we should go for the speed tie, which we do not, and we land it, of course. Charizard X come through, as Greninja comes through as well. I think I want to preserve this due to fake out pressure, so Tangrowth can come in. And U-turn is going to do a tremendous amount, and we are going to be able to lose probably now. Um, I think my play would be, if he goes for Floor Cannon, he does get plus one. Oh, he goes for Flash Cannon to be safe, great. Um, he is not being going to be able to outspeed us, but I need to get as much damage on this off as possible. I didn't see an item, so I think he's Z, uh, Z Crystal probably. As we are going to be able to KO him straight up with the high jump kick. And right here, this is going to be enough to win the game. Because Keldeo can just come in after Magichim dies. And actually proceeds to straight up KO him. Oh, Water Shuriken. That's not going to do enough for you. He is not going to be able to pick us up with a Water Shuriken. And we are going to be able to pick him off with a uh, Sacred Sword. That's amazing. Alright, let's find another match right here. Alright then, so we see a Galissapod, Garchomp, Magnezone, Charizard, Alolan Mach, and Tyranitar right here. Mm. Getting Rocks up would be uh, good as an opening though. I do see him opening up with either Garchomp or Tyranitar. And seeing that he has practically not much for us to work against. Mm, I think Keldeo is a good lead right here as Galissapod opens up right here. I am going to be able to click Stone Edge right here as first impression comes through of course. Um, 
We lost some of HP and we are able to crit him with the Stone Edge, which is going to do 51% towards him. So, uh, he doesn't have quite a safe swap right here. He probably indeed goes to Tyranitar, but for Tyranitar, we are able to swap out into Tank Growth right here. I think Tank Growth can do great against this. Um, as he is going to double out into his Magna Zone, and I think Magna Zone is actually going to go for the Volt Switch right here. And if he goes for Volt Switch, I actually see him going uh, towards Charizard, something like that. But I think I want to knock off. Oh, S Signal Beam. That's odd, and we cannot knock off his item, so that proves that he is a Z user. A Strider attack now comes through, and he is not going to status us, and we are going to be able to pick up this um, Magna Zone right here with the Earthquake. Uh, as he forfeits, so that's a free win for us, so GG to you then, my friend. And we are going to be able to look for a third game right here. Um. Oh my god, the threat of the Stapu Lele. Oh shit. Alright, so Greninja, Charizard Mega X, uh, Landorus Terrian, Tapu Lele, Zygarde, and Celestina. This looks like full entire offense. I think he is Z user, is Celestina or the Zygarde. But looking at his team, I don't see a reason not to open up Tapu Koko. Uh, because Tapu Koko outspeed his entire team uh, prior to him getting Battle Bond. And I think that he is going to be able to swap out towards the... Um, Towards the Landorus right here, and I want to predict him to go for the Gong Shot, so I actually go towards Heatran. As he is actually going to Hydro Bomb straight up. That's a good play by my opponent right there. Um, yeah, this is really a tough one. I didn't expect to lose Heatran because that was a swap to Tapu Lele, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think Celesteela wants to come out though. Um... So I want to go out into the Medicham, and we are going to be able to Mega Evolve and actually fake up right here. And it would depend on his switchings right here, what he can do. We are going to be able to pick off the Greninja, so Greninja is not longer a threat right here. Uh, if I were him, I would probably go towards Landorus. Oh, Tapu Lele comes straight up in. A part of me wants to get rid of this um, terrain straight up. And I think that wouldn't be a bad play, to be honest. So I actually want to get rid of the terrain. Um, and looking at that damage, I would assume that he's Choice uh, Scarf. So knowing that he's Choice Scarf, I think we are safe to go into the Tank Growth right here. As we are going to be able to, to even live a crit. And I think right here should be the time where we actually can click um, the knockoff on his Celesteela. Uh, and a part of me really wants to get rid of this... Uh, we got rid of his leftover, so I think he wants to go for Heavy Slam, <coughs> Air Slash, or Leech Seed, something along those lines. So, I think it would be a good call to actually go Greninja right here, as we are going to be able to take a Flamethrower. Um, let's actually go for the Spikes. For the Spikes. If we go for Spikes, we get one layer up, and we can also pressure top to Lele a bit. Because I do want to predict him to actually swap out though. Because what can he what can he pretty much do? We cannot do much. Spike up is probably good as he is gonna have his slam, which is gonna do a tremendous amount. Um But I'm actually gonna click the hydro pump right here to do as much damage as possible to the Celesteela. As he does get a special defense boost. Um Seeing that the Stapu Lele indeed is your Scarf, I want to go towards this thing, and if he actually is going to go towards Landorus, which I might expect, uh, we are going to pick him off with the Thunderbolt right here. And actually, Tapu Koko is now done for, because if he has Charizard Mega X, we cannot Oko it. If he has Extreme Speed Zygarde, we lose. Uh, Tapu Lele does come through, though. Uh, and I, I don't think now... We are able to pick him off, but I think U-turn should be the play uh, as we lose our um, Tapu Koko right here. Seeing that we normally outspeed Tapu Koko anyway, I think it would be a good play to either um, go tank growth and then click HP Ice or predict the swap out to Charizard and go Keldeo. I think that would be a good one. So in the terrain, I really want to predict him to go to Charizard right here. So I actually want to go Keldeo. 
right now. I think this is a solid play. As he is going to be able to pick up our Keldeo right here, unfortunately, which I didn't expect. God damn it. We shouldn't make a play around the uh, around the threat like that. Uh, as Zygarde is going to come through, uh, we are able to pick off him, and he is going to be able to Toxic us right here. So, um, part of me actually wants to click the Giga Drain right here because well, Knockoff is a better player, I think, because he's probably going to swap out, um, probably. I think he would probably swap to Word to Landorus or something or top of Lele. If he goes Lele, we probably lose anyway because he, uh, we are not able to outspeed him right here. And we need to be able to actually pick him off, so Giga Drain is a good call. As we are able to pick up the Zygarde now. Um, I think that he goes Charizard right here. I don't really know. Hmm, would probably be good too. It would completely depend on his team though, because he can go Landorus because if Medicham gets his free swap, Medicham is gonna hurt anything that comes in. And I wanna predict that Charizard actually goes to Dragon S. Might be a risk not worthy. He is worthy as he's gonna flare blitz and is gonna be able to pick us off right here. On fort. Um as Flatless is also going to pick up Medicham, so that's going to be GG, and we lost this match. Um, let's actually find one more match, and then after that, I think we would be ready to turn this actually off. As we see a Torical Chansey, Porygon, Celestila, Coco, um, Aerodactyl. Oh damn, that core of Chansey, uh, Celestial is going to be hard. Um, looking at this... Seeing that he has no immunities towards us, I think it is good to open up Tapu Coco. Um, mm, that's actually around the timer right now. Timer, and then mod join. There we go. Uh, we are going to be able to open up Tapu Koko as he's actually going to open up with Aerodactyl and I think that Aerodactyl is going to be able to outspeed us and KO us if he really wants to. So just in case if we live I want to go Volt Switch. Uh, he is going to risk us being Scarf. And we just need to reconnect right now on Ford. So I'll be right back until I'm connected again guys. And we're back. Aerodactyl is going to be able to pick uh, Tapu Koko off permanently, so we lose a huge mon <coughs> towards him, and our entire team practically loses to this. Um, as obvious as the swap to Chansey is, I do want to click Secret Sword. As Tapu Koko actually comes in, and we do not have a swap for Tapu Koko other than Tangrowth right here. So let's go to Tangrowth as he's actually going to Wild Charge, so it turns out he's physical, so he may have Brave Bird or not. So yeah, he does have Brave Bird, he's going to go for it, and we are going to be able to knock him off and we show that he's Expert Belt. So knowing that he is physical, I think Heatran can be a good swap, uh, because I need to return. Um, I think that getting up Rocks is good right now. So that it would get in range of Keldeo actually two shotting in. So Wild Charge is gonna crit us unfortunately and we get our rocks up for free. Uh, I think the best play for him would probably be to go into Aerodactyl and pick us off. Which I completely agree with that, that he should do that. He's probably also Z conversion. Um Z conversion Porygon 2, most likely.
Alright, we see this and we actually can taunt that as he can't use a tautomize right here. So actually, uh, he, we are gonna be lava pluming him and he is gonna be weakness policy. Alright, now we're gonna use weakness policy right here with uh, plus two special attack and attack. We are able to pick him off right here with Mega Medicham since we are able to outspeed him guaranteed. So Mega Evolution Thunder Punch is a good right here as we are going to be able to pick him off. Alright, so Aerodactyl comes now through and we have no switch in Sprinty much, but I think we are good to sec Tapu. Uh, Tapu, that we are good to sec Tangrowth right here. Mm. As he is going to click Iron Hat and we are not going to be able to live, so I actually want to click Knock just in case he outspeeds. Alright, he is going to be able to pick us off right now. We have no switches to this anymore. And the only thing we actually can do right here is come in and... Mm, secret Sword. As we are not going to be able to pick him off, but we are going to be able to outspeed. Let's see. He goes into Torkoal and brings out the weather right here. So I actually do want to... Um, Keep him around, so he's gonna toxic right here, and he probably is also going to spin. But anyway, I think um, that Gong Shot should be a play, as we are gonna become a poison type and take much damage. So we are a toxic poison type right now, and he's gonna click rocks. Uh, Dark Pulse should be a call, and we are gonna be picking off the Torkoal right here. Uh, we have Chansey of Porygon left. I think if Porygon guns in, I straight want to Dark Pulse that thing because I don't want to be playing around with some no Z conversions. So Dark Pulse should be my play and he is forced to pick us off as we do not even do enough. Alright, try attack. Uh, seeing that he has try attack, I think Scarf Secret Sword can come in clutch for us and actually win us the game. So. Secret Sword is going to be able to pick off this Porygon Z and then he has Chansey left which cannot 1v1 Medicham and Keldeo together. So Secret Sword is going to be able to Oko Chansey so that's going to be good game. Alright so, see how much time we have here, are 22 minutes. I think this is going to be good enough for this episode right here. We did a couple of matches. Um, there will be a paste bin down below where you can actually use the... Um, or you can use the team that we use this episode, which is going to be in the description below. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you like the Pokemon Showdown series. And I'm the Crowd Glasgow, and I will see you in the next video, whatever I'm going to make. I will see you next time, and I'm out. Bye!